Hello, welcome back. Uh, it's uh, Ilmanuski, 1960, Ilmanuski, part two. This is for the carburetor. The carburetor is a VN. Uh, yeah, come on. Zenith. A Zenith VN. Now, that is the carburetor, look. In bits, I leave the bits for cleaning. All the bits are there, the new gaskets. I bought that one as a VN, but apparently it's a later version. It's got a bigger throat, and it's slightly bigger on the mount for the inlet manifold. But I'm lucky that these gasket sets fit all the, most of the Zenith range. So the problem was with that thing is this. That is the stop. Your fuel goes in there, and when the float chamber is full, this float comes up to the top and shuts that off. And when it empties, it lets more fuel in. It's working very hard. But uh, yeah, anyway, we're going to assemble it, so uh, I'll talk to you in a minute. I'll, tell you, I'll let you know as we go along. I hope I think you ought to, ought to know. All right. So we've done that. In here, you've got a diaphragm. So I've already put the new gasket on. So now we'll just tighten it up. You don't really know it's extra special. Just enough to nip the gasket up. There we go. Oh, this over the way the fuel goes, it don't leak. This should be a pressure, this should be a stepper motor, not the grand modern car today. Uh, yeah. So now, we're going to put that on. These are a bit of a, a pain. That's it, wrong way around. As you can see, I'm going to need a bit of assistance with that. That's it, shove out in it.
Now we're back. And here we are. Look. I've just put a blob of the thread over my tight on just to hold the gaskets in place. As I was saying before, this was the, the fuel stop. When that rises, and they've got enough fuel in the reservoir, float chamber, that float rises and shoots hat off so it can't have a fill. Right, <coughs> so we'll put this together now. A bit tricky when you've got to. And we'll do this one. That's it. Get the screws in. And start them up. Turn back. I've just fitted the, uh, the choke. When you put the spindle in, you've got to wind it around a few times so as it does that, there's just a spring there. Look. So that's in the shut position, but when it's uh, the choke is not on, it's in the up position. Right, this is the. Uh, anyway. That's it, that goes there. That goes in there. There's that part that goes on there. That's it. Yeah, that goes in the middle. So we've got a lever that comes across Let's put the, uh, the bottom butterfly in shall we? Which will be that one. That one on the top of there. Now we've got spare parts for this. Off of this. So I've got to take that nut, which is not a very. Is it? So we need. Right. That's twelve, but I can make that to more like a seven sixteen.
Sorry for that. I've got to take that. Not wrong. Where's that from?
so. And I'm back. Yeah, a bit of a bit of a bind. The spare carburetor, I've stripped that down ready for cleaning. There's all the bits from it. As you can see, there's quite a lot. Some from this one as well. This is a carb that's going back on. On the Husky. Uh, this was broke. It somehow fits onto the spindle, the throttle spindle, and fits through there. But so far I've drawn a blank with it as to I think it goes there but it, it thingy so that when you pull the choke on it op it opens the bottom butterfly the the, thr the choke bottom choke slightly so that it fires you pull the choke on and you've got to rely on this being set to, to for it open that bit I'm going to have to seek some Google on this because it's years and years since I did a Zenith Cobb uh, I was a, a young man well, a very young man, 17 but uh, that I just don't know, but I'll seek some Google and I'll get back to you in a minute ok and I'm back, here we are look I found this shows you the exact configuration so yeah I'm left with this, so long as it it works like that and when you pull the choke it operates the throttle a little bit but uh, I'm just going to have a look at this bit here there must be something missing off the, the spindle if you tighten it up you can You can see it, uh, that it operates the throttle a little bit when the choke comes on, that's to give it some starting power. But, uh, yeah, I wonder about that. Can't do it too much. That's it, isn't it? don't think I can improve on it any mm. and that's it the next one you'll be seeing me uh, fitting the car to the car first I've got to take the tank off, blow the line through, clean the tank out press fuel in the tank, carburetor on, fuel pump on, prime the fuel pump and brum brum should be you know. get your fingers crossed eh and I'll see you in part three. The rebuild of the carburetor and the pump, and possibly the removal of the tank and the blow through the lines. So we'll see you then. See you later. <laughs>